Hello, hello. So I thought I would show you how to use the field command. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to use and you can use it for different things. Uh, one thing is, for example, if you want to remove blocks, uh, you can do it like this. For example, you can look at one corner here. So you can see the uh, black outlines of the block. And then you go into the chat and you start type slash fill and then space and then you press tab three times. So you get the coordinates for this specific block. And then you press control A and then control X to cut this out. And then you go to the next corner and you look at this and you paste it in and then space. Press tab three times again to get to the coordinates of this second corner block. And now you're going to replace the stone with air. Or you're actually not replacing, you actually fill the area with air. So you start to press AI and you see it's recommending air. And over here you just press tab. Now you can see it's green. And then you press enter. And what you can do is that you can also fill a lot more. For example, if I want to have two layers of planks over here, I can actually need to place two over here. That, and then I select this corner, the bottom corner here. Uh, no, I'm not actually. I'm going to select this corner. That's the co uh, coordinates of the cobblestone block. Control A to select everything and then Control X to cut it out. And then you need to place or look at the top corner over here. Press space and then tab three times. And you want, let's say, uh, spruce planks. Start to uh, type SPR, then you can use the arrow keys to select down here spruce planks. Yeah, now you see it's yellow. Right now you just press the tab key to sort of autocomplete it. And then you press tab. So you can fill it like that. And if you want to remove everything here, you select the bottom corner. Control A, Control X, and then you select the top corner here, or look at it. Like that. And here's another thing you can do with the uh, uh, fill command, and that's, for example, this area here, you can see there, it's a mix with cobblestone and stone. So let's say that you want to replace the cobblestone with uh, planks, for example, oak planks. So you see there's a cobblestone over there as well. So you select the bottom corner here or look at it. Fill, space, tab, tab, tab. And then you select the other top corner here. And then uh, you paste in the coordinates of the bottom block. Now you need the uh, top block here. Tab. And here's the thing. Hey, this might be a bit confusing, but now you need to type the block you want to replace too. So I said I wanted to replace the cobblestone with planks. So, or oak planks, oak. And down here you have planks in yellow. Press tab, but instead of just pressing enter here, I will. It will automatically now just fill everything with planks. But I just want to replace the cobblestone. So now over here, I pre uh, click or press space once, and I want replace, and I want to replace the cobblestone. 
So the command is kind of uh, like backwards. So oak planks, that's the planks I want, and I want to replace the cobblestone. So if I press enter here now, you see that cobblestone now turned into oak planks. And if I bring up this command again, let's say that I want to replace the stone uh, with, uh, let's say, what do I want? Stone, let's say, acacia planks. I want acacia planks and I want to replace the stone. Like that. Voila. But let's say I don't want the uh, oak planks anymore. So you bring up, you bring up the chat, and then press the up arrow for the last command. So let's say the oak planks. I want to replace them with air, but I want to keep the acacia planks. So air, and I want to replace the oak planks like this voila let's say that you got an area like this and you want to replace the air blocks within this area you can actually bring up the last command again i want to have uh, the cobblestone back Cobblestone, replace air, like that. So that's the uh, kind of uh, replace or the fill command for you. And of course, if you want to delete this, you just bring up the last command and delete it. So yeah. That's how that works, so see you later.